Sam, welcome to South Africa. Um, how are you guys enjoying the change of scenery after a couple of difficult weeks? Yeah, thanks. Um, no, it's good to be back. It feels like, I mean, it has been a long time since we've been here. Uh, it's probably one of those things you almost took it for granted a little bit when we're doing it twice a year, every year. So uh, there's a few boys the first time to South Africa, which really reminds you of um, how long it's been. And uh, it's good to get here first, sort of a real um, open the lungs up at a, at a bit of altitude today. So um, we're starting to sort of click into a time zone, which is good too. Sam, it seems like there's a lot to fix for you guys up front out of Ireland. How do you avoid, I guess, getting too cluttered, too with too much going on at a time when the message seems to be, you know, simplicity is, is, is crucial. Yeah, it may seem like there's uh, um, a lot to fix from the outside potentially, but um, in camp we've got a couple of um, really clear focuses and often when you get what you'd say like the big rocks of a four pack right, a lot of those other smaller things which may seem like issues sort of sort themselves out. So. Um, I think the hardest bit after the last game was actually going home for a week. As much as we needed the the, the break from it all, um, it was so so good to get back in Wellington for that two-day camp and start putting some putting some work in to, to fix things and um, start moving forward. I suppose it didn't feel like we could really move forward until we started uh, trying to get things, or trying to improve and get things right. So we had a good few days down there. Um, this facility is ideal for us here. We can get a little bit more work done because we don't have the bus travel. Um, so, you know, we're, we're watching for lights and things. I wanted to ask, how good is, is this environment, the fact that you're pretty much isolated from, from everything and, and almost anyone, and does it help the team to, to, not, to get a bit tighter? Uh, how, how big an advantage is, this, is, is it for you guys? Uh, it's, it's certainly different. I think it, it helps in the sense that, you know, some days we'll be, could be spending up to an hour and a half on the bus each day to and from training and then gym session as well. So it's all on site. Um, so yeah, it's, it's been good for us. And um, yeah, it's, a, it's a pretty awesome facility. We're lucky, lucky to be here. Sam, so it has it been a wee bit unusual period for the All Blacks, four defeats in the last five games. What have you done to make sure that confidence doesn't just totally collapse this week and moving forward? Yeah, good question. It's, um, I think it's important that we, like, a little bit, alluded to a little bit earlier that we don't focus on all these things that are going wrong because the truth is there's not heaps of things that are going wrong in the top teams are small margins between games for example um, the the last game we lost by 10 but we led in two rolling more trials which you know as an all black four pack is something we we don't seem um, we don't see as acceptable so we fix something like that um, and you know that's one one big rock that we, we've sorted out um, so what we do is just focus on what we do and, and there's actually like a lot of stuff we are doing well so focus on that as well um, instead of always drilling down on what's not going well. Um, Sam, so Sam, is it fair to say that uh, this fixture is the one that brings the best out of both teams and therefore comes at a, a pretty important time? Yeah, it's pretty fair to say I reckon. Um, I just think these tests, test matches over here are some of the toughest test matches I've been involved in. I love playing South Africa over here. I think any time where test match is super tough, um, it's, you know, it's most enjoyable um, when you walk off the field knowing that you've absolutely given everything. Um, so, yeah, well, I know that it'll be like that on Saturday. And Jason Ryan has been in the camp for a very short period of time, but has worked with a lot of these players. How important has that different voice been, especially amongst you forwards? Yeah, um, Jason has been outstanding. He's uh, he's come in and. Just sort of taking control and found his feet straight away. Uh, he, he's clearly very knowledgeable and knows what he wants out of out of our forward pack. Um, so we've made some. I feel like we've made some good strides already in the last couple of days. And just the Springboks and, and what you've made of, of them. You've obviously seen what they've done against Wales. They've had some challenges of their own. Do, do, do you think that this fixture brings the best out of them as well? Yeah, I think so. I'd, I'd, uh, um, I think they'd probably agree with that too. Uh, obviously against Wales, they, they made a few changes between test matches. Um, they've got an incredible amount of depth in their squad. Um, and I think we know what we're going to get when we play the Springboks. A con confrontational, physical battle. Um, and, you know, you just have to, we're looking at the footage. And the big men coming around the corner, running hard, cleaning hard. And then some of the, the skill in the midfield and outside backs, um, skill and speed is, is right up there, the best in the world. So um, 
you know, they're the full package. Sam, how are you bearing up? Because, you know, in the wake of obviously this series defeat, there's been a lot of negativity and, and obviously it, it can be hard. Um, and Coach Captain Cobb, a fair bit of it, would be fair to say, and you know, you're probably well aware of that. Just how are you handling it personally and just what have you made of it all and, and is, does it have any impact on you? You know, I've been, I've been doing it right. Um, I think the best, best thing I've found is not to uh, engage or, or read in any articles or, um, or, or stuff online and just focus on sort of your, your close group of friends and teammates, etc. cetera. Um, and as long as, yeah, they've got your back and they believe in you and you believe in yourself, then um, you're in a pretty good spot. Uh, I think it's probably harder sometimes on a lot of loved ones, like um, friends and family, um, but myself, uh, I've been all good, and um, I think when we come in and, and get into our work, you know, all that sort of, it's almost like we're in our own little bubble sometimes, and um, just focusing on, on working hard and, and getting things right. If you want a positive, I think you've won eight of your nine tests against the box, and you obviously played in 2018 when you won 32-30 in Pretoria. What, what do you remember of that? Do you take anything out of that? Is it any relevance or you know, any, any sort of anything you sort of think, when you think back to that occasion? Last time you played them, I think, up here. I think when I um, injured my neck, to be honest. Oh, yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, uh, but I remember at half time, like, I think the first half we played for about 46, 47 minutes, come in. Um, like I said, about the games that really challenge you physically and mentally, you come in at half time and you, you hear a little voice in the back of your head saying, Holy smoke, how are we going to get through the second half? Like, but um, when it, you, you do, you find you can dig deep. Um, and they're just like the test matches that just challenge you and you, you, know, you have to give absolutely everything. So, um, I love, I love, like I said before, I love playing this for Sam, just how much have you guys missed the physicality of the South African teams and you haven't played them constantly for a couple of years now? Yeah, look, it's just Super Rugby is certainly different these days to, um, to pre-COVID um, and that's just the reality of it, unfortunately. But um, yeah, I think you can speak to any of the, the Kiwi boys, um, as I've alluded to a couple of times already, we, we always enjoy playing South Africans the, the test, um, to test ourselves physically. Um, you know, although we pride ourselves on, on playing skillfully, um, it's a component of the game, the physical side that a lot of our boys love and relish as well. So. Sam, there's been a pretty consistent message from the guys um, that we've heard from post Island uh, that the players, you know, take need to take responsibility. You know, any turnaround is going to come from you guys. Is that fair? Is that fair to say that's been a team-wide kind of ethos? Yeah, absolutely. Um, like, whenever you you don't get a result, you you're looking for first thing you do is look in the mirror and look at your own performance and see how how you fronted up. And you know, this, we've got a, a group of guys. I think when you get to this level, you the type of player and the type of person they are, they're always going to look at themselves and what they could have done better rather than look outside. Um, and look, yeah, there's been a few tweaks um, within the, the coaching staff, which um, should hopefully help, but um, without doubt, um, a few of us need to be stepping up on the field um, in the big moments. The, the simplistic then, view is kind of like, this is a bad time for you to strike the All Blacks, but do you turn that around and say, this is a great time? Because you know, you've got a lot to prove, and what, who better to prove it against? Absolutely. Um, you have like I suppose it's a mini series, two two tests in South Africa. Um, we we knew a long time ago how tough this was going to be when we looked at the first five matches, five test matches of our schedule. Um, but the whole time it was always like exciting and, and looking forward to it because one, it, it's been a while, and two, I've never in my ten or so years never had two test matches back to back in South Africa, so it's unique. And uh, I think the, the group just loves like being all back up. I just think you love like tests and, and times that really challenge you, and this is certainly one of those. Just to follow on to that, this this new format uh, of rugby championship is going to give that opportunity for every country. Uh, do, the, do, do the players embrace that? Do they enjoy the fact that you've got these back-to-back -back games? And just secondly, how wonderful is it to be unrestricted, uh, given what you all went through? I mean, Springboks, All Blacks, Wallabies, everybody last year to actually be here to be able to train to Rome and, and yeah yeah that's uh it's pretty good I mean the, the old format when we used to go to Argentina and then we'd come from Argentina to here but that was it's a tough haul you know you got three New Zealand RG South Africa back home four different time zones effectively and in four weeks there's there's tough time so to, to get here and get settled in um 
hopefully adjust to a bit of altitude and, and have two weeks here against one of the best teams in the world is is awesome. And then, yeah, to ha not have those sort of restrictions. And, you know, and I know tomorrow on our day off, we've had sort of three days of training here now. Um, a lot of guys going to Kruger Park, freshen up, um, get out and experience South Africa. Um, it would be great for us to, because you think back to last year where the boys had sort of 12, 13 weeks on the road, but pretty confined to the hotels. Um, it can be draining. You want got the last one? Is that Sweet. Thanks, Thanks. 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 Thanks.